Searching to understand why Tarum Flight 371 slammed into the ground shortly after takeoff. V1, rotate. The investigators turn their attention to the pilots. They wonder if there's anything in their flight records to suggest they made a fatal mistake. Okay, let's go. The captain first. Captain Balanoyu spent his entire career at Taro. Graduated military flight school in 1969. He'd flown more than 14,000 flight hours on six different aircraft. Impressive. Lots of flight hours. I flew with Captain Batanoyu. He was a prepared pilot, conscientious, attentive to what he was doing. Next. Pilot Stoy graduated military flight school in 1968. The first officer was also experienced. His training record is excellent. They were a good match. Yeah. So, two excellent pilots in the cockpit that day. Next, they check the medical records. Captain Batanayu, high mental condition, fit for long range flights. Captain looks good. The captain was 48 years old. The first officer, 51. But despite increasing age, their medical reports are both flawless. First officer Stoy, close to retiring age. Good level of information processing, motivated for flight. Stable personality. Assessments of their physical and mental status lead to one conclusion. Both were medically and psychologically fit to fly. Both plane and pilots have passed close inspection. What could have caused such a dramatic loss of control? 